So people may want to know, can you still make money in the Reclaimer doing salvaging? And the answer to that, of course, is yes. However, how much? And that is kind of a mixed bag right now, given that the RMC duping is still a problem. Um, I think I saw, I've seen things online that indicates that they've fixed it, but they haven't pushed that out. So it's still going to take some time for that to push that, take that to life. So at any rate, um, what that means is that typically with the Reclaimer, I typically like to go for non-RMC related content. So I like to go with the construction material. Obviously it's nerfed pretty heavily. So by comparison's sake, if you can get a box of, or you can fill the whole buffer or depot with 240 SEUs, that's going to be roughly worth 36, 360,000 um, AUEC. So that's still good money, right? So you just have to need to fill that multiple times. So what we're going to take a look at today is a couple ways I like to do that. Um, the easiest way to do that these days is to kind of um, bust your own chips. <laughs> so I'm going to show that as well as I'm going to show you where to get a reclaimer, uh, where to get a hold of a reclaimer. It's not a real reclaimer. It's like a custom one, but it'll allow you to break that down. And a reclaimer in itself is worth, um, you know, two holes depots worth plus a little extra. So yeah, we'll take a look at that. Well, let's get into it. So if you're around Orc Corp, you're going to find there's a mission under search called failed negotiations. This is um, a reclaimer mission where you have to go find a, a reclaimer and you're going to kind of save, not you don't save the crew, the crew's dead, but there is a whole play loop and you can look that up if you want to do the mission in itself. However, it does give you access to a reclaimer. And so that is the mission I like to take on occasionally if I want to start out with a reclaimer. Uh, additionally, I usually bring out another reclaimer as well as my own reclaimer, giving me access to three ships. So occasionally I bring out two reclaimers. Uh, that's asking a lot, but at the end of the day, if you can bring out a 90 jump, if you can bring out a couple hammerhead, a hammerhead and another ship, but you're, you're bringing out big ships. Um, so you have three ships out your reclaimer, a couple big ships, and then you have the reclaimer you can munch as well. So it just gives you access to quite a few ships. If you want to stick to the construction material, as well as you can also do some RMC gathering, but it, right now I'm having trouble doing that on reclaimers. I think reclaimers might be bugged and I can't seem to gather the RMC off of them. So once you get the mission, it's going to be pretty uh, widespread on how far away it's going to be from you. Um, it could be far away. It could be relatively close, but you do have to start at Arcorp. So just please note that you can't see them. You can't even see the mission unless you're near Arcorp. So make your way out to Arcorp, then you can see the mission and then you can, it'll get a location. And then from there, you can start making your way out there. Now, what I like to do is get other ships besides my reclaimer out there first, and then I backspace my character and then I make my way out there with the reclaimer eventually. So you know, take again, whatever ship, one or two ships you might want to take out there, and then you are stuck at three ships. So just note that that third ship is going to have to be the reclaimer. So the maximum you can take out there is going to be two, and then you'll have access to the reclaimer to munch as well, which is the mission ship. So just note that that's going to give you quite a bit of RMC for, I mean, really it's just the travel time and then just doing the work and you can have a crew if you want as well. And you just, obviously you share the income from that. So that's just, again, an option to get a, at least a hold of a big ship to start doing some munching. I haven't seen the 890 jump because their microtech usually has an 890 jump mission out there. I haven't noticed that yet, uh, but it is possible. It still exists as well. So once you get to the general area, there's a, a beacon, distress beacon that essentially it's located at. Make your way to that. You can do your scanner on, um, but the to me, usually the reclaimer kind of stands out. I think there's a bug right now with the reclaimer too, where like even if the light's not on, it's you're gonna see that light like the bat signal. <laughs> so unfortunately, I'll you know I'll notice that when I leave my other reclaimers there. I'm like I haven't left the light on, but I'll still see the light standing out like a Gondor's beacon or something. At any rate, uh, just make your way out there. Look for that light. Um, as you get closer to the beacon, you'll start to see it. If you don't, again, you can turn your scanner on and start doing some pinging to help identify it, but you should be able to see that that light usually stands out. So make your way to the target. Uh, from there, if you've brought another ship out, just put it next to it and then you can um, go ahead and backspace. Additionally, you could get into the other reclaimer. There shouldn't be anything there. Um, it should be all pretty cleared up. You just want to sit in the driver's seat. It is powered off this go around. Last time it used to be powered on, so you'd have to go in there to power it off. It does appear to be powered off, but you will get a crime stat, it seems like, if you just munch it right away. It's like a crime stat too, I think, so it's not like you're going to send you to prison and you can fix it, clean it up. So if you don't want it, if you miss that step, it's not like it's going to kill you um, or send you, I mean, I could send you to prison if you die. But at the end of the day, you know, you just take a minute to go over there and sit in the seat so that you can kind of claim it as your own. And then, yeah, then you'll be free and clear to go ahead and start munching. If you want to just munch that and then move on, you can do that. But I don't think the respawn time is very quick. So it's not like you'll have access to it initially right away. But it also gives you a good spot out in the middle of nowhere to go with your other ships. So that at least you have that kind of 
free area to stack up other ships and if you have a crew then they can all bring ships too but just know obviously the idea is to use more construction material than rmc due to the rmc dupe you can't really sell a lot of rmc so you just want to kind of have that in mind when you go out there maybe do a couple boxes of 16 for rmc but just try not to overdo it because you just won't be able to sell it at the tdds so really the main goal of this is to get good construction material so that you can sell it at the admin center instead of having to worry about the tdds uh, duping problem so yeah if you're interested in getting a hold of extra rmc instead of dealing with construction material i can understand that obviously you'll have to deal with the duping problem so this next guidance part could be more based around using this method once they fix the duping problem because like right now obviously if you get a bunch of boxes of rmc then you have a hard time selling it it's just the nature of the beast as it is so you can go look for panels that's what i have here i think this footage is from testing out the panels and the different signatures so you're you're going to be looking for the panels i have a separate video on that if you want to take a look at it there's uh, a way to search for panels so that's an option obviously you can have a crew with that as well so if you wanted to have people scraping as you go to process it that would be at least more manageable because with the construction material method i showed before it's more of a single player kind of method so the material i showed initially in the intro there was only worth about two million i say only i mean when you're doing all that there wasn't a lot of time um i didn't even have to drink on my character so as far as timing is concerned i didn't actually time it but when i so i salvaged two reclaimers um i didn't have access to it you know i didn't uh, when i was looking for the the other mission for the third reclaimer I, I didn't see it so i just went ahead and took a 5k mission with a um an anvil and so once i did that the anvil arrow i went ahead and just brought out a couple of my reclaimers so i can munch those instead so the end goal is to if you want to munch then you need to bring out multiple ships so you can munch them because you're going to be able to make the money back that way otherwise you won't potentially have enough material to really make a whole lot of money if you can get more players, you can do that. But again, be mindful. Maybe two reclaimers might be better in that case. So it's that way you can have enough um, of a hold area, or maybe bring put. You could take the boxes out and maybe put them in a C, um, a C two or something. But that is a lot of extra work for trying to trans transport those boxes. Yeah. So there's just a couple options for you. Um, obviously, the panels is another option. You can find quite a bit of panels out there. It's just selling the material right now. That's a bit of a mess. So that's what you have available for right now. It's not like it's impossible to make money. It's just not as lucrative, obviously, as it was before, which is fine. I, I don't think that's the problem. I really, I think the RMC problem is just really need to stop selling RMC at places because it just really messes with salvaging in an unnecessary way. So ideally, they cut that out so that people can actually do some salvaging and sell it. Um, maybe they cut back the RMC price. I wouldn't mind that either, to be honest. I mean, it's not like it. I like the idea of having to scrape. I don't mind taking the time to scrape as well. But just buying RMC at places seems like it's just not, I don't know, that just seems to kind of cut into salvage a little bit too much, in my opinion. All right, so I'll finish up with a video of me landing with a number of C2s around Area 18 that are, you know, this is the, the unfortunately the duping problem. So uh, I may sound a bit salty about that. I do have a guide about making money, but it's more based around making money for new players. So I think that's kind of a a current hole or gap that exists in the earlier levels of making money for new players. So I'd really like to see the Cambino work, but unfortunately you can't sell those cartridges right now. So I look forward to a future state where I can start doing a, a low, like a s entry to beginner to advanced salvaging guide, where you can really start out from just a hand tool out to, you can obviously do that now, but that hand tool is not enough money. You need to really have that, that Cambino I think needs to come online. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I think I'm going to work up a guide. I have the Aegis Saber. I have the Firebird. I've been liking that okay, but I do have some mixed feelings on it, so I'll share that. I'm going to do a review, I think, on all three of them. The Comet, the Firebird, and just the regular Saber. So I'm going to work on that. I've already been working on that. I'll finish that up, and I think I'll put that out, and I think I'll start working on some other ship reviews as well. But I appreciate y'all that have supported and like and subscribed, and I, again, appreciate you taking the time to watch, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.